Hey guys, welcome back to Mischief.com. It is Horny Devil, and I know it's been a little while since I've made a video, but I took a little break. Well, I didn't really take a break. My computer is kind of trashy. It still kind of is. Um, it's been really, really, really slow lately, and it's just very hard to produce stuff video-wise. Um, but I did do a computer wipe. I factory reset everything, and hopefully it helps a little bit. And I think it's cleaned up some speed issues, I guess. Um, but I definitely need to see some more performance out of this computer. Um, but without further ado, let's get started on this new update that just came out today. Now, they did announce that this was coming out, I think, like a week ago. Um, but we were talking about the uh, rural slash urban uh, specializations with the stations, um, with fire stations specifically. Uh, so you can set your fire station to be a rural or urban fire station. Now, uh, there is some caveats to this update, some things that I don't like, some things that I, well, somewhat like. I actually came up with this idea a long, long time ago. I guess I really, I might have mentioned it in videos, but I guess I really never like publicly said anything about it um, in like forums and stuff. But uh, Mission Chief came up with this update and I'm just gonna give you guys a brief example of kind of what's going on here. Um, so what I wanted is what different, it is very different than what Mission Chief actually came out with. Um, so we're talking about uh, urban and rural designations. So when we come down here, uh, we can make the fire stations uh, used for urban, or sorry, urban down here, uh, enabling like urban calls that don't require water tankers, I do believe. Um, I'd have to look into this a little bit more. Um, but yeah, for an urban fire station, you can spend $50,000 to make it an urban fire station, or you can spend $50,000 to make it a rural fire station, and it takes two days to complete. I don't like that they made them a specialization. I don't think that should have been a thing, um, because for one, it costs 50000 But here's the thing. According to my sources, uh, for people who have already done this, I haven't built any of these yet, and I don't think I even will, um, and I'll go over all this stuff. Um, but according to what I've been told, uh, let me just go back in our group chat here just because I actually don't remember what they said as far as price wise um, So I asked what the prices were because these do escalate in price wise um, They're not 50,000 for each station. They go up dramatically. Uh, let me just see uh, So it went from 50k to 50k to 50k to 150k to 208k and I would assume it just keeps going up and up in price I couldn't imagine paying $208,000 to make a station a rural station the amount of payback period would be insane for a rural station. Urban station, not so much because you get more patience with urban stations and a bunch of other factors in that. Uh, I just don't think the cost of it is there to, in my mind, to change all my stations. I have roughly 250 stations, fire stations that is, roughly. It could even be more, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Um, but when you guys saw that first map, I mean, this is, Look how many fire stations are here. Could you imagine paying $50,000 on each one of these stations? That's that's crazy. That This is just one of my areas. I mean, I have I have multiple different areas. I have all of these fire stations down here. I mean, it's just the amount of money I would be spending would be crazy. And because there's escalators, it wouldn't just be $50,000. I would be paying almost $200,000, potentially more, on all my fire stations, which would be absolutely not, uh, not cool. Um, but in my vision, what I, what I expected them to do is not at all what they did. Um, what I was expecting them to do, let's just go here and give you guys a little example. Uh, so we're gonna go to building, building, and we're gonna click on fire station. And what they should have done is gave you an option right away. So there's like a little box here that you can click. Uh, it says rural or urban, or you could do other. Um, like if it's an airport fire station or if it's like a, like a wildland fire station where it's not really rural or urban, you know, it's um, you could you can kind of click other and make it a different specialization, different specialization. Sorry, um, because there is other specializations other than urban and rural. Um, like I said, there's wildland and there's airport and there's also water rescue too. Um, so you can make like lifeguard stations and stuff like that. I'm just gonna send some ambulances real quick to the hospital while we're talking here. Um, but yeah, this is the update they did come out with at two times XP or uh, credits, I should say. Uh, for this event that came out uh, like at six o'clock a.m. Uh, Central Time or seven p.m. or sorry seven a.m. Uh, Eastern Time, I do believe it came out. Um, I was <laughs> actually at work and someone texted me in a group chat, or actually the Discord chat be, uh, for our Alliance, saying that there's two times credit. So I do appreciate anyone that does that in my Discord or even the Alliance 
um, our, um, our Alliance message board here. That says there's two times, even though I can clearly see it up here, uh, but when someone messages me on Discord or messages our whole Alliance on Discord, it's so cool, and I do appreciate that if anyone does that in our Discord. Um, so just a little shout out to them. Um, so yeah, with that update, like I said, it's more or less a rural and urban specialization. I don't think the cost is there to benefit to. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd wish it wasn't a price behind it. Um, and I think that's the main reason why I probably won't go forward in actually making my stations urban and rural. Um, like I said, it just, the cost is just not there, um, unfortunately. Um, however, I would have liked it. But um, anyways, what do you do? And that was like one of my complaints for the longest time because a lot of our calls in this game require water tankers in downtown urban areas. And a lot of downtown urban areas like New York City, why would you need a water tanker in New York City when there's fire hydrants? It only makes sense for rural areas when there's no fire hydrants, you know, for miles, sometimes tens of miles away. And they have to go to lakes to fill up their um, tanks and stuff. Or, of course, bring a water tanker to put out a fire. Um... But yeah, that's just my little caveat on those. You know, it's it's a good idea, but I think they can implement it in a different way. I don't think they can really change it at this point because people have already paid probably hundreds of thousands of dollars to implement these already. And just to change it later, I think is unlikely. Um, so that's my little two cents on that. Um, anyways, this is my first video from being back in a while. Uh, so I do appreciate you guys um, continuing to follow me and to watch my videos and stuff like that. Um, after this video, I'm going to be doing a building video because if you guys look up here, we have $63 million. I've been stacking money. Um, I haven't been inactive. I just, my computer's just not there and I just don't really have time to, I didn't have time to fix it at the time. Um, so in the next video, we'll be spending not all the $63,000, um, or sorry, $63 million. Um, but I will be spending a large portion of that. I think we're going to get a whole new fire department to build and possibly some more boats purchased and possibly some more police stations. We'll kind of see how that goes. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys on the next building video. I hope you guys are ready for that. Later.